Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As we're making this uh, video, we've already been up for like three hours this morning. Early, early to rise. Early to rise, indeed. Well, you got to get up pretty early if you want to watch the Sun Simulator. <laughs> really, you do. You do. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And yesterday we did this one on Hearts Home. Uh, again, Heart's Home is the very, very safe place to go if you just don't want to see any of the news and you just want to go into the more spiritual side of things. And for quite a while, we were working on getting ready to actually put together some more ambient music with the intention of this music being used as perhaps uh, mantra music, meditation music, uh, sleep music. Whatever you want to use it for, it should definitely help to shift you into um, a little higher frequency. And it's done in 432, and we do it ourselves. And so it, it's actually something that's kind of a passion. Uh, and we'll be developing more, many, many more of these. And we'll also be going on, on Heart's Home to put up things like new uh, understanding of the cycle of the yugas, more ascension topics, real Yeshua, who really was he, uh, different universal quote-unquote goddesses, and exploring other densities, dimensions, spiritual practice and ritual, great teachers, and of course, um, things like actual meditations, mantras, healing music, obviously, as we're talking about biofield tunings, light code activations there's so much uh, that we go into over here and we'll be uh, giving more and more priority over to heart's home as more and more people wake up and realize you know that the whole system that we've had has been really truly one big big distortion uh, or if you want to use a stronger word it's been a complete lie a complete fabrication everything that we were brought up with everything goes up on uh, patreon by the way all the videos go up on patreon uh, we've talked about this before in the past china switches on artificial sun burns five times hotter than the real sun come on really is that possible well that's what they show us and again the big reveal is it, it's never been Homo sapiens sapiens by ourselves here. Oh, no, 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 no. Never been the case. Yeah, there you go. They, they, they fixed the sun. Don't worry, guys. There is a U.S. patent out. There's, there's actually several patents uh, when you get down to it um, for sun simulators. Everything, everything that this whole world has been based on. It's been a Truman Show. It's been a big, big illusion. They enjoy it. I swear to God, they enjoy it. They really enjoy um, how much they manipulate us. And I think in many cases, too, they watch the masses and they kind of get a kick out of how the humans respond and react to all the distorted information that's given to us. Um, you know, so many people feel this tugging and pulling inside of themselves saying, you know, something just doesn't feel right. This world is not okay. And I, I feel a lot of things in the 3D, we do need to deal with them the way we need to deal with them. However, a lot of things are not as we are told and that's where it gets complicated it's like where is that fine line of okay this is the 3d world this is how i need to function because i need to do this and i need to do that but then you know the reality is something different how how do you function in this 3d world and be true to yourself when when you know everything is a lie it's not easy but a lot more people are finding that middle ground because it is a middle ground this is baby steps this is this is not information that you can just take in in one day and uh, make corrections no I mean it took a lifetime for us to get here it's going to take a lifetime for us to find the truth find the understanding adjust it within ourselves and move forward accordingly in a productive way so that's that's my hope 
Well, we, we got some information from the guides, and we didn't know um, enough to, to share exactly. We've been sharing with you guys for a long time uh, that everything that we do see really is truly a distortion. And just how big a distortion things are is slowly being revealed. Um, and, you know, the reality of things like the Galactic Federation and all these different extraterrestrial and interdimensional as well as inner earth intelligences, there's, there's so much going on uh, behind the scenes in the quest for humanity's true awakening from its, its induced slumber by the system. Again, we have so much inner potential what humans are it, it it just look again to the legends from greece from uh the Hin the hindu tradition the indus valley area and and china for instance taking you know those three uh areas you'll see that in a golden age humans are like the gods it, it's stated in those three different cultures in a golden age, humans are like the gods, and humans live incredibly long lives. Incredibly long lives. And as we've been unveiling and trying to share with people, it's the system that keeps us in the dark. And it's the system that's literally has been shortening human lives artificially. Just as, you know, there is an artificial component to that light in the sky we see, uh, there's an artificial component to almost everything. And they want you to buy on the artificial. They want you to buy the parquet. I can't believe it's not butter. You remember all these things? Think about all the... Com it's all been sales. They sell us on the system. They sell us on the American dream. They sell us on... You know, the things to strive for, you know, you too can become a star. Go to Hollywood, become a star. You already are a star. That's, that's again, part of the distortion. They sell us on their way of thinking and their way of living. And they are in the dark. They are truly in the dark. We were showing the Dyson Sphere at the Vatican. There's also one at the UN building. What else do you see in the background? Well, wait a minute, there's, there's the Greek gods in the background. It looks like the Greek gods. Well, it could be the 12 apostles, you know, again, 12 apostles, uh, the Olympian gods, etc., etc., 12 tribes of Israel. There's so much symbolism in place. And yet, what are they really telling us with uh, some sort of mechanical sphere with another sphere inside it? Again, the control system is really a much bigger control system than most people understand. It, it is extraterrestrials, and it is interdimensional as well. And yes, there is definitely a demonic component to it. As you look here at a uh, conception of a Dyson sphere encircling a sun, many people remember when the sun was yellowish-orange. Uh, it wasn't that long ago. I mean, I do. And then it seemed to get kind of whiter. It seemed to get kind of whiter. And then, of course, we have the Hopi uh, legends about, you know, the Red Kachina, which brings uh, all sorts of trauma and travail. And then the Blue Kachina, which brings a new age. And again, it's even in the Bible that, you know, you're to look for a new age. And yet, at the same time, fundamentalists are, are taught to be terrified of a new age. Well, by the system that wants to keep you in an age of darkness. This is this is part of the big, big lie, the distortion and the the deception has been, you know, the the mainstream way of thinking, whether it's believing in the mainstream media, the mainstream religions, the mainstream politics, everything mainstream has been a deception and a lie. In order to keep us in the dark and now what do they do now they're plastering the skies they've been plastering the skies as we've been saying for the entire seven years of this channel mostly because of ascension that's what they fear the most 
is humans ascending past their grasp? Yes, you know, there's other things in there. There's a weather control component. There's spreading all sorts of different <clears throat> biological and chemical agents. Mostly, it's about blocking out the light of the sun. Because the light of the sun, again, is that which triggers our ascension. And, you know, many people have caught on to the uh, solar sneeze and the idea that the sun is going to blast out completely uh, life-altering rays. And, and we do get that that is the case. You know, there is going to be a series of sneezes leading up to the big one, uh, so to speak. And what it is about is removing the system. And, and we've talked about that. Many people have talked about that, too. What the sun is doing is the sun is restoring. It's going to restore uh, the way things should be. <clears throat> and it's going to shed the artificial component. This is not the first time this has happened. Again, we've been, from, from the information we've gotten from the guides, we've gone through three complete cycles of the yugas which is, you know, the ascending cycle and the descending cycle. We've been through there three full times. So they keep trying to extend the Kali Yuga, and they keep failing, and they're going to fail again. Right. For them, it's... I don't know if it's some sick game. <laughs> you know, it's something that they do that's really, really wrong. But the information that we got... Um, was very, very curious, and it, it took a minute to sit with it so that we can get it out to you guys because it's multidimensional information and the um, ability to take it from different dimensions and process it down into the 3D. It takes a little bit of time, and it takes an art. There is definitely an art to this. Um, but we picked up that we have a 3D sun, like it, it's like a lens. It's like a lens over the real sun. And that perspective is so very, very limited. And this is where we're at at this time. We're, all the information we're getting is not just distorting our eyes and how we see, it's distorting our mind. We have this third eye. And this third eye takes in so much information from the sun. And right now it's very, very limited because this is where we're at, at the, in the cosmos. This is where we are at in the, the yugas. Uh, this is their time to bring about distortion and bring about darkness and dim the real sun. Dim the real sun. We are not going to be in this position forever. Earth readjusts herself as needed when it is time so i mean what i see with this lens it is com in comparison to the real sun that earth usually gets her information from it is very very small but to us it would be very very large it's definitely not a human um a human technology this is alien technology and it's been in place for who knows how many how many could, it could be hundreds of thousands of years. We don't know, but it's in place, and this is where we are at today. Yeah, so again, we see this. We see um, images of the sun simulator here, and you know, a lot of things are kind of released to us, um, but in a minor way and in, in a way that maybe we can comprehend when the reality is uh, a little bit more advanced than that. But, but again, the, the line of thinking is basically correct. So, you know, I noticed this a lot back in 2018, 2019. I was focusing on this a lot more and doing many more videos. Um, for those of you guys that know uh, Steve at WSO, I mean, we did several interviews together, several lives together, um, and, and, you know, we delved into this. This was uh, right before Cindy came on board with the channel and with her ability to give us a lot more clarity uh, of what's going on with the channeling directly from the Galactic Federation. As, as I haven't um, had the ability to channel, you know, the words from the Galactics, I've been always getting more images 
uh, and with a lot more question marks. So it, it's helped to absolutely help to to get a clear channel where she can actually go into trance and then they could speak directly. But of course, they can't tell us like everything or it could kind of spoil the human experience. So there's there's it's just like, you know, when you play these games as kids and, you know, you, you can't be told where something is, you know, hot or cold. It's kind of like that, you know, OK, yeah, you are getting hotter. You know, yes, I can confirm that because you guessed it. You put it out there. You figured it out. So they can confirm when we figure things out. So, you know, yeah, it's it's not necessarily uh, a human made one that we're really talking about. No, no. This was, again, put in place when they uh, it's right there. It just just it was like a big aha moment for me here. Right. Again, you know, when you look to the Bible and they talk about there's like a creation, there's many people have picked up on scholars have picked up on this. People that have done translation uh, for a living have picked up on this. There's two creation stories. And there's a, por a part where the earth was basically like a void. And again, that's the Tiamat situation. The first creation was Tiamat. Tiamat's billions of years old. The system that came into power now and has been in power uh, for thousands of years, some sources say 432,000 years, um, literally since the earth was first um, taken over by this control structure, ultimately it's AI using those entities that we know of as the Draco with various other groups, reptilian and non-reptilian, including the ones that are, you know, people that joined them, joined the opposition that we would have referred to as Pleiadians. And so we call them the fallen Pleiadians because, you know, they have taken the AI into themselves, the technology into themselves, and they have dropped down density wise. Um, so, you know, there's there's a lot of truth in certain circles, but still with distortion. Um, as, you know, you get the flat earthers, you know, saying there's something wrong with the sun. It's not 93 million miles away. Well, you know, they're right in that the one that's up there blocking the sun is much closer to us. So, yeah, you guys are right. Uh, that is is correct, but yet the real sun is farther away. It's just being blocked by this artificial lens. And I was going to backtrack a moment here. When we look at um, where was I? Okay, the blue kachina. Uh, blue kachina. Well, our sun is the real sun is shining in a blue light. And so this is the blue kachina. So what is the story of the blue kachina? When the mask is removed, what's a mask? A mask goes in front of the face or on the face. You remove the mask and you see the real face. The real sun is, is a bluish light. And so we were picking up on this that the sun is blue in uh, the ages that are not the dark age but then in the dark age it's at first more of a red because when they first put this technology in place it blocks even more of the light uh, and then as the sun is now going through its cycle of the yugas because we're, we're traveling as a unit then it, it's exposed to certain cosmic energies that allow it to to start to brighten and then that red turns into a yellowish orange and then it starts to turn white because the sun is getting more intense and it literally is starting to fry uh, the technology that's put in place of it when the big blast does come uh, that technology will be gone it'll be just obliterated into nothing and thus we will be hit with the cosmic energy. Um, so again, they put fear into us with movies like Knowing and, and other catastrophe movies uh, where you know, you're gonna be fried to a crisp in an oven. Well, the reality is our bodies are already in the state of ascension. Now, we, we are more than the physical body. 
much, much more. We are eternal consciousness. This is why, you know, uh, like I saw a post on uh, a channeled message, somebody else's channeled message, and everybody what seemed to be on board, and then you have one person saying, you know, believe on the blood of, of Jesus who died for your sins in order that you may have eternal life. Well, we already have eternal life, you know, so that's that's a distortion. And then the whole Son of God, Son, S-O-N-S-U-N, is a distortion um, by the system. You know, it the whole concept of blood sacrifice again, when you believe in blood sacrifice, then they could put you in little outfits, march you off to war. You are the blood sacrifice for the demons in, in the act of war. This is what they're planning on doing with um, the World War III and, and, and invoking the draft. And then dress everybody up. It's the same thing as a ritual bathing or what have you. And then blood sacrifice for the demonic entities. The way to avoid that is to refuse, you know, just blanket outright refuse because the entirety of the system is all about creating energy using our source energy because source is within us, using our source energy to feed the lower entities because they don't have the source energy. They're, they're, they're like shells, they're husks. Um, Dr. Claudia Albers, I, you know, this, this line of thinking, she had talked about these shells, which remind me of um, the Hebrew term klipoth, uh, klipoth which is uh, a, a term that's used in the Kabbalah to talk about dead stars. Well, yeah, to drain the energy away from, you know, the stars is what they're trying to do. And they're trying to utilize it for the AI system, which is really running the show and, again, has enslaved the, the Draco, which created it. So when the mask is removed, when the artificial lens is removed, again, from the sun, then, you know, there you go. Blue Kajina, we are in a, in a new age, a new era. We're no longer in the dark age. Uh, Cindy got that they've they had this lens in place for somewhere between two to five thousand years. Right. When we are in this position, when we are in the darkness, this is when we are dealing with the lens. But we don't deal with the lens all always. The earth readjusts herself. And I got that a long time ago. And like I said, this information is not easy to convey because I'm taking it dimensionally, I'm processing it, and I'm giving it to you to the best of my ability. Um, I, I think it's important to note that the position we're in right now is not forever. It's also important to note that all the information we've been given, all the books, all the scholars, all the science, everything is made up to tailor and to cater to the controllers here of earth that they, they don't want to give up their position they're pretty comfortable they kind of enjoy it um and it's it's almost like the the further we get out of of this age this dark age this this energy of lies it, the the stories that the controllers tell us are more and more skewed and they're just dumber and dumber every minute you can look at the news and you can see at this point oh my gosh this is such a distortion this is so not what is going on but they just continue to peddle it anyway in hopes that our pineal glands are completely blocked off and just maybe maybe enough people are going to believe it that they can continue um, their control, their control grid, but it's going to loosen. It's going to break away because that's the natural state of everything. And with this lens in place, there's still going to be a lot of people that are unable to see if they haven't been turned on or if they haven't, um, 
been activated yet they're not going to be able to see what's going on they're going to remain in the dark and and maybe that's you know maybe that's part of their journey maybe that's what they want to do but it's time for so many of us i mean we are at the dawn i'm the light is starting to turn on the birds are starting to sing it's like we hear another story we see another view and we're looking back and saying no there's something really really wrong here and really a lot of things have been happening to the controllers that we've seen on the news lately they are slipping their grip is slipping and they know it they can't handle it the energies are too intense for them so you know when you look at the current position of the earth right here what we see is you see mars here and there's jupiter and then this line in between mars and jupiter is where the asteroid belt was is and and that's the remnants that's some of the remnants of tiamat earth is the rest of the remnants of tiamat for the biggest portion um so there you go you know the earth was when when tiamat um was destroyed it was in a different position too it was outside the orbit of mars the planets can actually move this is another big reveal they can actually change their positions again the science that we're taught is is complete lies and distortion and when you think about this it was hitting me again uh the elohim uh let's just let me bring this up there's there's so much information out there um that is distortion that is a lie however we find ourselves in this 3d world so we need to function in it but rest assured the more we are able to make our way into this 3d and transform it uh, the better off things will be the you know we will definitely change things I, the power is on our end it's moving toward our end now so you know again um, there is two creation stories that are alluded to here and when we look at it the they brought in the two lights right the sun and the moon and everything you see here with elohim is plural and that whole concept of it being the holy trinity is just again a cover story because the, the story doesn't make sense and if you go deeper into things you, you realize again uh, the chaldean genesis is is at least a thousand years probably 500 to a thousand years minimum maybe um, thousands of years older and it, it also is in the plural and and it's just out there again they give even different names for for the gods that we see in uh some of the other accounts but some are very very are very much exactly the same you know whether we're talking anu and lil enki um but there there are some other ones in there there's many names for the various gods again the, these are not the creators of the universe these are the creators of the system when you look to the talmud if you look to the talmud when david's talking to god quote unquote he's talking uh more in terms to the ruler of this system and it's even worded that way it's not like oh great creator of the universe no it, it's it's the master and it's the master of the universe and that the one that has conquered uh, that which we know. So again, it's the system. So, you know, again, it, they, they bring in the lights. It, yeah, they put the moon in place and they put the artificial lens over the sun. And even now, you know, you have like Gil Bates and others saying oh oh climate change climate change we got to totally block out the sun because they can't take the real light it is toxic to them they are like vampires they are like vampires this this light will wreak havoc with them it's going to blow away their technology and their system and the reality is too uh we've gotten that there's 39 or 40 planets in our system not not what they show you no there's 39 or 40. many of these planets are totally free they they are above and beyond the system and the system can't screw with them for for lack of a better word 
because they're they're technologically and frequency wise on a much higher plane you know the further we go along the more information is going to be given to people who can see you know for those who can see let them see i i don't think we are a huge threat but we are getting noticed because the information that we have is information that they're trying to keep secret is information that they're trying to keep suppressed and because it is dimensional information i don't think they're super worried about it yet because the translation uh the loss in translation they i think they feel is enough that so that other people are not going to really seriously question just yet but more and more people are waking up, more and more people's pineal glands are being affected by the true sun as Earth adjusts herself. As she changes, we change. Um, the length of time that we are looking at it is very difficult to decipher because we're looking at everything through this 3D lens still. Um, until that is dissolved away more and more and more, I think we're a, a lot of people will still be stuck in that in that area. So you know, again, it, there is going to be um, what has been called a galactic superwave coming in. You know, so many people have caught these distortions and say, "Oh, it's just lens flares, etc." You know, again, there's there's patents for for solar simulators. Um, there's patents for. Um, everything that we've seen, the plague upon the land, and and even name it, it's been patented <laughs> because this is what the system does, and they just put through uh, laws again uh, where anything that's genetically altered can be patented, and you have been genetically altered. Your vehicle has, you know. Again, the the. Draco Anunnaki, uh, again, the Draco controlled Anunnaki. Anunnaki is a term, you know, again, that's kind of gen generic. It's, you know, those that come from out there, basically, and, and come to here. So those that have come from other uh, planets out there to Earth, in a generic sense, they're all Anunnaki. Um, but yes, when we talk about those that are under the control of the Draco, the dark system, that's what we're specifically talking about. You know, they, they again, are in so many ways um, fallen beings. They are, for lack of a better term, uh, they're kith and kin to us. And in many ways, yeah, they, they, they do have uh, some of the same lineages that we do. Uh, and yet they've fallen. They've fallen in battle. They've accepted the uh, AI draconian overlord system and they have merged with that technology. This is what they're trying to do uh, desperately is they want to install that technology in you to keep you from ascending. So obviously, you know, if you make the choice to take their technology, if you make the choice to be a slave, uh, by basically making statements which say that your intent is to be a slave, you know, then they have an argument for, for coming and picking you up and taking you off to a place that won't necessarily be affected when the sun does go. Um, because, you know, there is true human slave trade and, and other species all throughout the galaxy. Again, this is not just an, an Earth situation. Mm -mm. You know, no, this is this is going going on far and wide. And, you know, we we always talk about remaining organic, remain organic. This is where you want to be able to mesh with the earth. What I find is so sad is there is a lot of natural remedies out there for any disease or any issue that humans can have there is a natural remedy out there our problem is is that everything has been so modified that even your cells have been modified or they're full of of sugar and once you do try that natural remedy it's not going to work because the cell is not functional the cell is either loaded with uh, heavy metals or it's loaded full of sugar so when you try this natural thing you're like hey it doesn't work it doesn't work at all also, the books, the information, 
has all been distorted when it comes to natural remedies. I don't believe for a second that they have left anything pure. So when you are trying to find a natural way and you try one thing after the next, after the next, after the next, and it doesn't work, that's deliberate. That's to get people off the path. That's to get people to just throw their hands up, give up, go see a different type of DR, just accept what's on the paper and put that in your body because that's going to help them control you. So all of this is very deliberate. When you do want to do something natural, it, man, it's hard. It's hard, but it can be done. I'm here. I'm sitting here. I'm alive. I'm saying it can be done. And I know several other people that have done it. And no, it's, it's not an easy path, but there is a path. I think we. it's time that we really kind of dig in and we dig deep and we don't accept the system or their ways. I'm not telling anyone to rise up or be negative, but there's a peaceful way to not accept what they are giving us. We can turn away from it. We have these choices right now. Absolutely. So in reality, uh, I, I think, you know, that we, we have really seen the peak of the dark system and it's in its death throes. Uh, these death throes might last, uh, you know, until around that 2030 timeline. Um, ag again, it, it's a splitting was what, what's going on. It's a splitting. So we have to really choose carefully what we, uh, our actions are, what our thoughts are, our deeds, etc. We've tried to reach as many people as we can by, by covering uh, the 3D events and stuff, not wanting to instill fear because, again, ultimately, this is just a temporary human experience. We are eternal consciousness, and that consciousness you know, is, is, is not something that can just be snuffed out when you find yourself uh, out of the body. That's, that's exactly how you find yourself. You're out of the body. People have out-of-body experiences all the time. Many people have come back from being clinically dead. We've shared several stories uh, of, of people that have clinically died uh, and come back. And there's that knowing. And, and they're really at peace because they've had that knowing. So, you know, I shared the, the story of my brother when he died and then finding myself standing outside my body and hearing a voice talking to me and saying, you know, you're not your body, right? you're not your body and so I've always had that knowing uh, that I'm not my body and then I've been able to literally see sometimes uh, in between periods as well as a past life now when we're outside of this age it's certainly not uncommon to be able to have knowledge of past lives and and everybody knows when you're in a golden age or a silver age you know how the world, the universe, really, really works. It's only in the darkest of the dark age that the majority of the people really don't understand the bigger picture. But there is a split coming, so we have to be aware of, of that. And we have to hold our frequency high. It has nothing to do with dogma. It's all about where is your frequency Peter Dunov, we've talked about him many times in many, many vi uh, videos. In 1944, he had a vision and he saw the galactic superwave coming and he basically called it that, this wave of energy, divine fire is what he, what he called it. And again, that was 39 years before super, super wave theory was first proposed in, in this era, in these, <laughs> in these times, in those terms. So, you know, he had a vision. He was a very, very um, gifted person spiritually. Uh, you know, he, he did music, meditation. He had his own type of um, breath body work that, that he did himself and, and did retreats uh, with people. Um, and, he, and he has been one that we've been able to contact and Cindy's been able to utilize again as a, a resource in that contact a very very beautiful benevolent spirit and the first time we did a video on him together uh, he did come to Cindy so what what we get is that yes absolutely it, it is very true that when this wave comes the big wave uh, the technology is gone 
and there's a split in consciousness. So it, it will be uh, that those that are vibrating at a higher frequency uh, have the opportunity to have either a 4D or a 5D experience. Uh, it depends on uh, the individual. It's up to us. Um, there are those that will not be uh, at the high enough frequency to have that type of experience and you know they'll have a 3d experience um and now the interesting part or the part that m m maybe there's some disagreement between different sources on and we haven't gotten like clarity is um exactly you know which souls go where so to speak you know again this is a natural matrix and we have an unnatural matrix within the natural matrix. We are consciousness, and so we are eternal. And, you know, there is a natural learning uh, experience that consciousness, again, being eternal, you have no lack of time. So, <laughs> you know, we, we take on incarnations in various places uh, and, and go through um, all sorts of different experiences because we got all the time that there is. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about this super wave, this energy that's going to hit Earth, I, I absolutely do not see where we lose anything. You know, I think a lot of people are terrified that everything is going to get fried and, you know, the earth is going to be scorched, um, that everything is going to be in complete ruins. But the only thing that really happens is uh, the illusion is burned away. And we are able to now see our all of our elementals we can see into the ether we have a clear understanding of our guides and our angels we have a clear understanding of our mission we have a clear understanding of who we have been and where we're going to go so i see the super wave as a beautiful thing however leading up to it can be very very painful like ripping off a band-aid not something that you want to do not something that's fun but something that is necessary but I, I don't see any fear in it at all I, I think it's a good thing well I mean I think the fear might be might come from the lower frequency and the entities that have bought into the system oh, yeah. because that is the end of the system so you know for them yeah it's 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 a, a dark reality <laughs> sort yeah. of because it's the other side of the coin so for them no no they're they're not on top anymore um and you know again uh, we'll share more information with you that we get as we get it um, i know there are other sources out there that have spoken of this and and have said that um like peter dunov he said himself uh the lower frequency beings that are not ready for a 5d or even a 4d reality really will be taken off and and put on other planets basically their consciousness will take incarnations in other places because the earth herself is going up to 5d um, our consciousness itself is 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 something that is not really easily understood it, it definitely takes a lot of meditation to understand the bigger picture i'll give you these analogies um, or at least this analogy when you fall asleep are you always you let me ask you that and maybe that's like a little if you want to do a little insightful homework um, keep a dream journal and make notes and see when you have dreams, do you always seem to be the you that is existing on this earth plane at this point in time? Because the reality is um, the, the you that you are familiar with when you're awake is only a small part of you. There's many different parts of you. So when you're not asleep or say you're in a deep meditation or you're out of body, there is you have so much more access to things because you this filament this thing that's in front of the sun i don't see that it affects us when we are able to step out of the 3d body i see it as having 
all the control in the world of our 3D body. Um, when we are able to expand beyond that, that's where they start to lose control and that's where they start to they start to demonize these practices. Oh, yoga is horrible. Oh, chakra is evil. Oh my gosh, you're talking to demons. They don't want you to realize there is an external part of you that has access to everything. Absolutely. So uh, we'll have all the links uh, as always. Uh, you know, it's amazing what we find on this planet. And the planet's been through so many of these cycles. Uh, again, our... Our 3D body is the innermost layer to to this being that we are in this incarnation, but it's just a shell. So, you know, at some point in time, we shed it and we move onward and upward. And it's, it's something that served us. It's a vehicle. It's just a vehicle. You know, here you go. Another vision of the sun. We are all stars, ultimately. You know, the higher selves of the individual um, lifetimes that we have. And we have many, many different uh, lifetimes, typically. And again, each one of us is a shining star, ultimately. And it's up to us to choose our paths. We, we are not slaves. We are not servants. The creator of this, you know, universe uh, never had that intent. Any being that... Uh, it, that demands worship and compliance is not the creator it's not the source and so that's not our destiny and again original sin is just a creation made to to tie minds down and to control beings that ultimately if they are awake they're not controllable yeah, if it's of this world and if it's popular, it's probably not a good idea. Look forward to your comments and questions uh, and much more to come on this and other related topics. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.